Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering a method of accessing your Linux partitions from within Windows 10 or 11. So unlike Linux, Windows does not natively support the file systems typically used by Linux distributions, which in 99% of cases is ext4. So in this scenario where you have a dual boot setup with Windows and Linux, typically to access files stored on your Linux partitions, you need to boot into Linux. Or alternatively, you could create a shared partition which is formed as NTFS, as both Windows and Linux do natively support that file system. However, there is a simple method of accessing Linux partitions by using a freeware piece of software called Linux Reader. And this is developed by Disk Internals, which is a company well known for their data recovery tools. And the way that Linux Reader works is that it mounts a read-only copy of your Linux installation's partition, and then allows you to save copies of files found at that partition. Now this read-only nature is by design, and it's to prevent data corruption between the two operating systems, as well as their different file systems. So the first step is to install a Linux Reader. Now there are two versions of Linux Reader available, you have the standard and the pro, and the only real difference is that latter is able to access more file systems, as well as encrypted BitLocker drives. However, for our particular purpose, we can just use the standard version. To download a Linux Reader, all you need to do is click the Get It Free button. And then once the download is finished, install the installation package. Once you've installed it, launch Linux Reader using the application shortcut as per usual. So step two is to use Linux Reader. You'll find that the interface of Linux Reader is straightforward. All of your physical disks on your system will be listed in the tile format. And to open up any of them, you simply double click on the disk icon. For example, the disk listed at the top left of the window is by installation of Manjaro Linux. Alternatively, you do have the folders option here, which will basically display everything in a tree format, which might be easiest to navigate for some people. So for example, if I wanted to copy something from my downloads folder in my home directory on my Manjaro Linux, I would simply navigate to that location using the file browser. Let's go to home, Ryan J, downloads, and in this particular case, I have the ISO of Ubuntu 2204, and I want to save that to Windows. What I need to do is find the file, right click, go to save, and you'll be presented with three different options. You can either save the files, mount to system, or upload to an FTP server. I'll point out at this point, the mount option is actually a Linux Reader Pro feature. However, in my case, I just want to save the file. I'm going to choose the option to save files, and then click next. From here, I need to specify where I want it to be saved to. In this scenario, I want to save it to my downloads on my Windows 11 installation. But I can also choose the option to save the directory structure, extract the file date from the metadata if it's available, as well as skip any symbolic links. I'm happy with this option here, so I'm going to click Next. Finally, it's just going to summarize a list of the files that you want to save. Um, again, again, I'm happy with this, so I'm going to click Next. Once the process is finished, click the Finish button. And now let's open up a File Explorer and go to my Downloads folder. And sure enough, there's the ISO saved into my Downloads folder. And that's it, really. So in conclusion, Linux Reader is a great application for when you just need to quickly transfer some files or folders you might be working on in Linux, and you don't want to boot directly into it. Either way, with that, it does bring this video to an end. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, if you did find this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel to support me. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.